Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at some of the latest technology from Beta FPV. These are the two latest Express LRS or ELRS modules. These are the Micro TX module as opposed to the Nano one that I looked at uh, ooh, probably a couple of months ago now. I've got the 2.4 gigahertz version and the 868 gigahertz version as well. Uh, we'll take those out and have a look at them because they're um, slightly odd looking things but it's great to have a full size JR Bay 1 and there's also this new 2S Whoop drone that comes with ELRS built in and I think this is potentially going to happen more and more as ELRS becomes some of the default stuff for the bind and fly technology as we move forward. So let's unbox these things first. Now again, this is the ELRS Micro TX module. Uh, it's on the Beta FPV website for about $39.99, so about $40. Available in 2.4, 9.15 and 8.68 megahertz versions. Based on the ELRS project that we've already looked at, see my video on introduction to ELRS for what it's all about. But these are the full-size JR Bay versions, which means that it'll fit in your Tyrannus, your Radio Master, or whatever else if it's got a full-size bay. The other thing you're probably spotting is that it does have an OLED screen, and that's not something that's natively supported right now in the ELRS project. In fact, what Beta FPV have done here is they have innovated and designed the code themselves. And I know from speaking to a couple of the ELRS developers, they were a little bit nervous about that. But, you know, the genie is out of the bottle here and vendors are going to try and differentiate their technology based on the software. And this is what it looks like. It is a bit of a weird looking thing. It looks like it should be stuck on the side of R2-D2's head. You have a connector at the bottom, which you can't access when it's plugged into a radio. There is a little cable for that. There is the standard stuff at the back. Good to see a sticker to let you know which version you've got. Massive fan shroud at the front. USB-C connector for data. XT30 connector for auxiliary power little OLED screen and a five-way joystick so that you can navigate the menu. Now the really nice thing about the screen is that it will allow you to use the ELRS technology if you have a radio that can speak CRSF, which is the protocol it needs to, it basically, if it can already talk to something like Crossfire, it'll use the ELRS system as well. But if it's not an open TX powered radio, then you can't use the ELRS Lua script, which means that you can't configure anything. So this is a really cute way of doing it, and I'm actually a fan of the OLED screens. I have the full-size Crossfire here, and it makes setup, binding, updating, and all those kind of things incredibly easy. I can't quite get into this bag. I've definitely sealed this one up tight. But one of the things I can see already is that the antenna is physically different, and it should be because this is an 868 module. So getting into the bag, you see the antenna is a little bit bigger. But the module itself looks physically identical with the exception of the sticker on the back. There is nothing to differentiate them when they're turned off, which is which version. It's basically the same enclosure. Now, that big lump actually holds the fan for cooling and definitely going to need that. It makes a reasonable sound. I'll show you that in a minute when it's in the back of a radio. Uh, and you can, believe it or not, change the colour of the LED because there's a lit LED behind it, which is very much like modern gaming PCs. The other thing that's the big giveaway of which version you have, and this is much clearer on this, uh, it wasn't as clear in the micro sets that I got in to have a look at, is that that's the 868 on the left antenna. The 2.4 gig antenna is very very much smaller so those are the two new units let's have a look at the quad now i haven't managed to find any information on this on the website yet uh, all the information that i've got is kind of listed on it this is a bit standard beta fpv layout it's called the pro series 2s whoop drone so this is a 2s uh, whoop 
which I tend to like the slightly bigger whoops for flying outdoors as well. A little bit more power is always welcome. In here we have a 300 milliamp hour 2S battery, set of spare props, which is also nice, and the quad itself is this slightly bigger size. So it's not like your palm size tiny whoop this is your regular whoop you can see the elrs antenna at the back it's 2.4 gig unit and then we have the fpv uh, antenna at the top not unfortunately able to adjust the rake of the camera and then we have our xc30 connector at the bottom and a nice thick battery strap which i like to see because it means then you can use other people's 2s batteries on the multi-motor now we'll wait in a second let me get all these bits out so this little piece here along with the cable is so you can plug it into your computer because the all-in-one board that's inside here doesn't actually have a usb connector on it at all so if you want to plug this into the computer then you've got to plug it into this port at the top using this little extension lead that comes in the box now this is a little bit tricky i don't mind this to be honest because once you've been into this maybe change the beta flight modes to how you want tweak the on-screen display um, maybe change the voltage alert levels then to be fair you're probably not going to come back in here i'm going to do a full review on all of these pieces uh, so if you want me to test an individual thing do let me know and i will try and cover it when i kind of play with both the quadcopter and uh, the elrs modules in a little bit more detail let me just grab the scales to show you how heavy this is because it is nice and lightweight it doesn't feel particularly heavy for the size of whoop that it is so it's 46 grams without the battery with the battery it's 67 grams and then hopefully uh, with the 2s power and the slightly bigger props it should easily be able to uh, give a quite a fun flying experience i've had some other beta whoops in here and they're a lot of fun the other thing I really like about this is the fact that they have used that standard battery strap. So it does mean that all these other little uh, XT30 batteries that I've got for other models, I can actually get this on the bottom. Unfortunately, adjusting the strap, how am I, how's that working? Ah, there we go. Right, let me just feed this through. Um, and this is going to be, need feeding through a little bit. Too many of these whoops have... Uh, battery bays that will only fit the batteries that are supplied a little bit of a shame there's only one battery in the box because i'm sure once this is whizzing around it'll only be a handful of minutes before the battery is completely flat but i'll definitely be giving that a full test when we get to that uh, full review again anything in particular you want me to check out with this stuff when i play with it in the next week to make a more in-depth video do let me know going back to the module itself this is what it actually looks like plugged into the back of the radio uh, the navigation is odd on this to say the least um, by default it's uh, lighting up a scion color uh, hopefully here you can hear the fan in the background uh, long press to enter the menu short press to cycle through each of the pieces and then another long press to change that element a um, little bit clunky in my humble opinion beta fpv you should use the joystick to navigate through the individual elements and then press enter to actually change anything but it is nice that you can access all of the settings on here even if you ha don't have an open tx radio and again i'm a fan of this i use the screen on my full-size crossfire an awful lot to do everything from binding to changing the settings to tweaking stuff and it's just a great thing to do also handy if you have an oled screen to potentially look at adding things like signal to noise ratio sensors and those kind of bits including potentially stuff like model finders too so there we have it quick look at some of the latest stuff from beta fpv the other thing worth mentioning is they have also sent me a discount code i'll put details in the description down below so if you're thinking of buying any of this technology you can use the code and save some cash Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.